Europa, moon of a gas giant, Jupiter. And because of fascinating findings, such as that Europa has an underwater ocean, Europa gained a lot of attention. So then, what if Europa were to become our moon? Let's say for some reason, it started drifting towards the Earth. In general, Europa would make a lot of changes, but mostly changes to itself. Europa's surface is made mostly out of water ice, so if it were to drift towards the Earth, where it would get many times closer to the Sun, it would cause the surface temperature to go up on Europa by a lot, which would cause the water ice on its surface to melt, resulting in a gigantic surface ocean throughout whole Europa. Now, let's say that happened very quickly, so it formed an atmosphere. Now, the oceans won't last forever since the gravity would eventually let go of the atmosphere, resulting in a boiling of the oceans. But for a brief moment, like a hundred or thousand years, it should be there. So when it finally approaches the Earth, it would not be very predictable whether or not it would settle into orbit without interfering with the Moon, or would it crash into the Earth. But let's say it settles at around 500,000 kilometers of a distance. At that distance from Earth, Europa would appear a bit smaller than the Moon, but also brighter than the Moon, which would as well make the nights on Earth to be a bit brighter. Now the downside would be that Europa and our Moon would make tides, so those tides could collide, resulting in quite large waves, so the shores would not be so safe to visit. But other than that, there are actually way more upsides than downsides for us humans. The most important one being that we would, in that scenario, have a nearly habitable world just next to Earth. And a habitable world with a huge chunk of ocean, even larger than all of the oceans on Earth combined. Europa's oceans are around 100 kilometers of depth. Now, we could set up some type of water bases or even cities on its watery surface. But the only problems would be that there would still be a lot of radiation, assuming there is no protection from it. The gravity would also be way too low, causing the human bones to be very weak and making a return to Earth hard. And the last big problem is that the oceans won't last forever. But if we could find a way to keep the atmosphere, it would be a very nice place to do some science and search for any form of life if it survived in 100 km deep oceans. And that's another change that could possibly happen. If there was life in Europa's ocean previously, it is not certain whether or not life would survive in such case, since geologic activity would as well change on Europa, which would as well make all those hydrothermal vents weak and would not provide enough energy for life in Europa. But that is still not very predictable. So, all in all, if Europa were to become our moon, it would definitely have more upsides than downsides. It would provide a nice place for humans to settle in for a while. So if anything bad happens on Earth, there would be humans on Europa. Now this is all hypothetical, and it won't actually happen. But if it were to happen, it would be quite a nice event.